Joined now by the former director of national intelligence, James Clapper. Mr. Clapper, thank you for joining us uh, this morning. I want to pick up on that question right there because, as you know, uh, the president and his associates and the vice president have, on several occasions, said cited you in their talking point that there was no collusion with the Russians. I want to show first the, pre the vice president, then the president. The facts that are in public today are very clear. The former uh, director of national intelligence has said there is no evidence of collusion. You were convinced you did nothing. And I'm not convinced. Uh, Clapper is convinced. DNI, and other people are convinced. Oh, yes. Everybody's convinced. Everybody said the same they thing. They say there's so no collusion. Get it you know the out of the White House. They're all saying there is no collusion. Now, you did say back in your original testimony that you hadn't seen evidence of collusion. Tell us exactly what you think right now in your response to the president and the vice president. First, uh, George, thanks for having me. Uh, I, I need to make clear, uh, I think, uh, to start with, what the relationship uh, that I had with uh, the FBI with respect to counterintelligence investigations. The FBI is unique in that it straddles both law enforcement and counterintelligence. And at the time we did our intelligence community assessment, which we published publicly on the 6th of January, there was, and there was no evidence in, of any collusion included in that report. That's not to say there wasn't evidence. There could have been, might, it, might be, I don't know, in, in, uh, in, the, in the investigation. I did not know there was a formal investigation or that it was addressing potential uh, pol uh, political collusion between uh, the Trump campaign and the Russians. That's not the kind of thing the FBI would tell the director of national intelligence? Not necessarily. Uh, the the uh, counterintelligence investigation, particularly if they are going to uh, potentially uh, implicate uh, criminal activity, uh, I, I le and I left it to the judgment of both Director Comey uh, and before him Director Mueller to decide uh, whether, when, and what to tell me about counterintelligence investigations. And that was a practice followed uh, for the six and a half years that I was uh, DNI. And again, uh, uh, out of deference to the sensitivity of these reports and because they invariably involve U.S. persons. So what is the clearest statement you can make about what you know about any possible collusion between President Trump, his associates, and the Russians during the campaign? Well, my, uh, my uh, in access insight here is aging off since uh, officially, uh, uh, you know, that ended on the Jan January 20th. And at the time I left office, uh, I had no, I had no uh, evidence available to me that uh, uh, there, was, there was collusion. But that's not necessarily exculpatory uh, since I did not know the, the state of the investigation or the content, what had been turned up in it. You worked very closely with former FBI Director James Comey for many years. Uh, you've seen a lot of different reports coming out. You heard, saw the statement from the president. He says that General, uh, Director Comey cleared him on three different occasions, saying he wasn't uh, under investigation. We have these reports that uh, perhaps that the, the president asked him to make a loyalty pledge during their dinner in, in, in January. Was it appropriate for the FBI director to go to dinner with the president like that? Well, I know uh, I happen to have been at uh, the Hoover Building for another event on January 27th, and I spoke uh, briefly with uh, Director Comey uh, about the dinner. He uh, conveyed to me that he'd been invited, and, and uh, he was, and uh, this is my characterization, uneasy with it, uh, simply because of uh, the optic or the appearance of co potentially compromising his independence and that of the Bureau. Uh, but uh, I think as a, a professional courtesy, when the president asks you to dinner, uh, you go. Uh, I do not know. I have no direct insight into uh, actually what was discussed uh, during that dinner. So you have, you have no idea. Do you, do you believe that James Comey would make a pledge of loyalty to the president? I would find that uh, uh, profoundly out of character. Uh, for uh, what I know of Jim Comey uh, and his integrity. I'd, I'd find that very surprising. We heard this week from CIA Director Mike Pompeo and the new Director of National Intelligence, Dan Coats, that Russia and their cyber activities are the foremost national security threat to the United States today. Do you agree with that? I do. Um, the, the, the two uh, most capable nation-state adversaries in the cyber domain are clearly uh, uh, Russia and, uh, and, of course, China. And uh, I do think uh, Russia poses 
uh, a huge threat in, in the way they have used the cyber domain. And that, to me, by the way, is the big issue here, is Russian interference uh, in our political process, in our election process. And that, that is an egregious act by them, and they will continue to do that, and I think even more aggressively than, than they have in the past. And I think it's uh, something Americans, all American citizens need to, to be aware of. And if there's ever been a, a clarion call for vigilance and action here to thwart this, uh, this is it. Have they succeeded in their basic goal of undermining public faith in the U.S. democratic process? And how have the president's actions this week impacted that? Well, they have certainly the, their first objective uh, before, uh, without respect to their stance on either candidate. But their first objective was to, to sow doubt, discord, and dissension in this country. And the Russians have to be celebrating with the minimal expenditure of resources and what they have accomplished. And of course, what has un uh, what's unfolded now, uh, here the leader of the, uh, the lead of the investigation about potential uh, collusion between Russia and uh, and uh, the, the Trump campaign has been removed. So uh, the Russians have to consider this as uh, you know, another, another victory on the scoreboard for them. Finally, sir, we've all been reading about this massive cyber attack over the weekend, this ransomware cyber attack, 150 countries, 200,000 people. Is this just the beginning? Well, that's the concern that uh, Monday, when everyone returns to the office, that uh, the this uh, r ransomware attack um, will be even larger. Um, we, Senator McCain, uh, held a hearing last Thursday on this very issue, and uh, and I meant I think in, during the course of that we mentioned uh, uh, ransomware as something that we're going to see more and more of. So this is a this is a very serious uh, serious problem, and it, I think it's going to grow. Mr. Clapper, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me, George.